Here are the top FMT News Bites, Wednesday, June 19. Kelantan State Assembly Speaker Amar Abdullah has declared the Nangiri seat held by Bersatu's Azizi Abu Naim as vacant. This follows the termination of the Guo Musang MP's Bersatu membership after he backed Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. Najib Razak and Irwan Sirigar Abdullah's criminal breach of trust case involving alleged payments of 6.6 billion ringgit to international petroleum investment company has been postponed. Deputy Public Prosecutor Saifuddin Hashim Musaimi told the High Court that 48 sets of documents requested by Irwan for his defence have to be declassified before it can be used at trial. China and Malaysia renewed a five-year economic and trade cooperation pact today and pledged to review visa-free travel arrangements between the countries to commemorate 50 years of diplomatic ties. Having arrived in Kuala Lumpur yesterday, Chinese Premier Li Qiang also signed several bilateral deals, including for exports of fresh durians from Malaysia to China. The family members of the man who attacked the Ulu Tiram police station last month have been charged with inciting terrorism by spreading the Islamic State militant group's ideology. The five comprise the assailant's parents and three siblings. His mother is a Singaporean citizen. A Singaporean faith leader was jailed for 10 years for swindling millions of dollars from her followers and using violent punishments to discipline those who disobeyed her. Wu Mei Ho was sentenced to 10 and a half years in prison after she convinced 30 followers into believing she was a deity and defrauded them of more than 10 million US dollars over several years. That's all for now. For more updates, log on to FMT and follow us here.